Hi guys, back with some brand new manga content, some more Junji Ito. I have this short story collection. That's upside down. Um, Shiver. A bunch of horror short stories. I'm going to read the first one, which is called Used Record. Hope you enjoy it. Wow. So this is it, huh? Where... How did you get a hold of it? How? God gave it to me. An angel dropped it on down. You want to listen to it again? It's over. Yeah. You're sure you won't let me record it, Ogawa? Yeah. Why not? It's not like you'll have less of it if you let me tape it. Don't be such a grump. I'm not being a grump. It's about feeling. Even if there's no loss to the record, I feel like you'd take some little percent of the music's charm if you taped it. So then let me borrow it. You're definitely not borrowing it. If you want it so badly, why don't you go and buy a copy, Nakayama? The jacket doesn't have the title or the singer's name. How am I supposed to find it? Where'd you get it? I'll go check if they have another copy. Not telling. Come on, you're just being mean on purpose now. This is why you don't have any friends. I'm the only one who ever comes here. You barely have any friends either. And you only come over because you want to listen to this record. That's not the only reason. I also come over to stare at the weirdo who still listens to records in this day and age. In the era of the CD. Just go home already. I will, and I won't come back. Who would even lend you anything? I mean, this record means more to me than my own life. Huh? It's gone. Nakayama stole it. She won't get away with this. Stop, thief. Stop! I said stop right there. <sighs> Ow. I was just borrowing it. And then you go throwing rocks at me. You suck. You big liar. So when you want something, you just steal it? You're that kind of person, huh? So pathetic. Now give it back. I won't say anything to the police. But there might be a rumor at school. Now! Give it back, you thief! Now! Ogawa? Hey. Ogawa, you okay? Ogawa? She's dead. Ogawa, I'm sorry. Sorry. I just had to have this record. I'm sorry. Don't hate me, okay? Ogawa? Did you say something? I guess I was hearing things. Huh? You're alive? I wasted my time apologizing. Hm. What do you want? I feel bad for you, so I'll give it back once I tape it. A record player? Oh, sorry, mine actually broke the other day. It's just been sitting there. I still haven't taken it to get fixed. Let's see, Tycho said hers is broken too, and I can't think of anyone else with a record player. So then I guess I could take mine in. No, it's fine, thanks. Unfortunately, we no longer carry analog machines. You don't. I don't have the money to buy a record player anyway. And I want to listen to it right now. 
this sweet, sad record. Ever since the day I heard it at her place, I can't get that song out of my head. I've never heard anything like it before. The girl's voice, it sounds detached, but there's a strange intonation somehow. The song just suddenly starts without any accompaniment. There's no lyrics, and then it fades out at the end, like she's falling asleep. I started going over to Ogawa's all the time. The more I heard the song, the more I wanted the record. I didn't know the singer's name, so I went to record stores and hummed the melody, but the clerks just gave me blank stares. It has to be some forgotten singer. Maybe no one realized how great this song is. And now I finally have the record. But now I don't have anywhere to play it. A used record shop in here? Right, they'd have a record player. You want me to put on a record? No way, I just buy and sell records. Please, just once. I said no. Huh. Where'd you get that record? That jacket? I'm sure of it. Th that. I used to have that record in here. There's no mistake, and it was not for sale. You stole it, didn't you? Stole it? No, it wasn't me. Then why do you have it? There's only one of those in all of Japan. That... that record's more precious to me than my life. A few months ago when the record was done playing, I put it on top of the turntable and someone took it. Now that I'm thinking about it, the only customer in the store was a girl. So that was you. Come on, give it back. I'll let you go if you give it back. I won't say anything to the police. Come on! Ah, let go of me! Stop! Someone stop that girl! So the reason she wouldn't tell me where she bought the record was because she stole it. Honestly, what kind of person is she? Oh, I'll hide in that cafe. Oh, this is a jazz cafe. What will you have? Um, orange juice? Sure thing. Um, yes. Is this the radio you have on? No, it's a record. Oh, it is? Um, actually, what kind of record is it? There aren't any lyrics, just vocalizations like la la la, do do do. Oh, so it's scat then. In that case, sure. This is a jazz cafe, after all. Go ahead. Thank you. This. This. What's this song called? There's nothing on the jacket. The abrupt start, the strange intonation, the dispassionate voice. It's a live recording. You can hear the background noises mixed in there. You can hear someone whispering sometimes. The beautiful, sad melody. And the way it ends like this. There's no doubt, this. People in the know know it. The polar bells scat. Right, kid? It is, isn't it? You don't know it? This, you know, this is a serious record. It's a mythical record. Music enthusiasts have been secretly whispering about it for ages. I can't believe I'm hearing it in a place like this. This, you see... This is a song improvised by a singer named Paula Bell. Well, I don't really know if it was improvised or not, but that doesn't matter. The important thing is when it was recorded. This record, you see, it was recorded right after she died. Understand? It was recorded after she died. Let me tell you the story. This is from a few decades ago. Paula Bell was a no-named singer working in bars at the time. Then one day, someone came to talk to her about putting out the debut album she'd wanted for so long. 
It was her big chance after some pretty dark days. But in a stroke of bad luck, on the big day of recording, she was hit by a car in front of the studio. The staff ran out, and she begged them to carry her into the studio. Even though she was seriously injured, the staff's hearts were moved at how passionate she was about the record, so they did what she asked. But anyone could see she was in no condition to sing. She took her last breath at the foot of the mic. Such a tragic death. Just when she was on the verge of making her debut, and the way she clinged to this world. Several of the staff members cried, perhaps. But then, a few minutes later, she started to sing. Everyone thought she had come back to life, but her heart still wasn't beating. As they stood there, stunned, she sang a song they'd never heard before, not the one she was supposed to sing. Finally, as though her strength was exhausted, her voice grew fainter. They say she didn't open her mouth again. One of the engineers hurriedly pressed the record button, so the song ended up recorded. The reason it starts so suddenly is because the recording started partway into it. They never released the song, but apparently some people on staff had records cut for their personal use. Ah, so then this is that mythical record you were talking about before? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no mistake. I heard it existed, but no one's ever seen it. So then this is the kind of thing that would make a collector drool. Um, thank you very much. You really helped me out. Oh, are you leaving already? Yes, I'll just leave the money here. That's... It's a song from the afterlife, you know. Thank you. What was with that creepy guy? Ugh. I'm getting out of here. He's following me. He wants the record. Oh crap. The record store owner. Oh, this is... Ogawa? You can't be. You're still here? But why? I mean, yesterday you were... singing. You sang. I heard you. <laughs> a rat in a trap. Or rather, in a bag. Almost a trap, isn't it? Are you trying to hide? It's almost cute. Now, give me my record back. What? What the? This is... This is a dead body. You dropped this. I guess you don't want it. Then I'll happily take it off your hands. She's dead. The record. Where's the record? It couldn't have. It's not broken, is it? Not here. It's not here. Strange. I was sure she had it with her before. Did she maybe drop it on the other side of the wall? Ah, it's too high. I'll go around. I can hear it. I can hear it. The melody from the afterlife. 